Hi everyone, uh, and uh, today I'd like to discuss with you a very important uh, phenomena that happen in outdoor insulation systems. Not necessarily outdoor insulators, but any outdoor insulation system, which is the surface discharge that is initiated from the triple point. So today I would like to understand what is a triple point, why surface discharge can be initiated from this triple point, and then we will have a nice demo about surface discharge with some cool uh, color of the of the discharge. Something I hope you will you will like it. So, what is a triple point? Basically, a triple point is a point between three different materials, and each material will have a different dielectric constant. So, for example, here this is a triple point where we have here air. And as we know it, air has a dielectric constant equal to one insulating material where epsilon r here can be between two to five. And here we have a metal where we will have a very high dielectric constant. You can assume it going to, to infinity. Okay, now why this point of interest? Why surface discharge can be initiated from this point? Going to the basics of physics, epsilon r1 times e1 equal to epsilon r2 times e2, which is the multiplication of a dielectric constant and the electric field at the interface between two different materials is constant. Now, when you come to a material like air, this is equal to one. When you come to a material like the insulation or the conductor, this is much higher than one for the conductor and two to five. Then what will happen here, the electric field in the air will be much higher than the electric field in the insulating material. So this will lead to enhancement of the electric field. Also, we know that the breakdown of air is around 22 kilovolt per centimeter, which is much less than the breakdown uh, of the insulating material. So air will start to break down here. And that's what will initiate the, the surface discharge. Uh, so depending on the surface conditions now, depending on the surface conductivity, is there any pollution? This will decide the progress of the of the surface uh, discharge or or not. So this is an example where you will have here some breakdown. We have here an electrode. This is a ceramic material, and here is air around it. So here you can see here this is a triple point breakdown result. So because of the surface discharge, you can start here signs of tracking start to happen on the surface of the insulator. So what we're going to do in the lab, we will have an acrylic sheet, big one, and I will have here an electrode, high voltage, connected to high voltage here, and another electrode here, connected to the, to the ground. So this will be your triple point. This one will be your triple, triple point. And here you will have a very high enhanced field. This is insulation. Okay, so directed constant here, two to five. Here is a conductor and here is, is air. So what we're going to do, we'll increase the voltage gradually and then you'll start to see the surface discharge. We will have it uh, in, in the dark so it will see nice colors until the surface discharge will start to grow, grow until you have a complete breakdown when the discharge bridge the whole insulation and reach into the to the ground so we'll come to the lab let's go and have some fun with high voltage this is the setup of uh, the experiment we'll do on the surface discharge you can see here we have like a, a blixi uh, glass plate and this is inserted between two electrodes this is one electrode connected to the ground and this is the other electrode connected to the to the high to the high voltage and here we will see the uh, the uh, point or the enhancement of the field on the triple point between the plexiglass the conductor and air we will start to initiate the corona and then it will develop until you will have surface discharge leading to a complete flash of over on the surface of the of the material we'll do uh, another test where we have a plexiglass 
and we will apply the, the high voltage and we keep on increasing and we'll start to see the surface discharge on the, on the plexiglass. So we'll zoom in a little bit here to start to see the, the arcing. Now the arc can become more evident as you can see here. This is from the high voltage electrode now, start to, to spread. This is the arcing on the surface and keep on increasing on the surface of the plexiglass. It's uh, sort of cool, huh? Nice interesting discharges here. And keep on increasing until we will have the flash of it. You can see here. And now it stops.